गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज प्रियंका दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू व्हाट इज एक्ने एंड हाउ इट इज कॉज एंड व्हाट आर द सिम्टम्स इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल शो यू द एग्जैक्ट ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द एक्ने देयरफॉर कीप सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू वॉच सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू व्हाट इज एक्ने एक्ने यूजली स्टार्ट विद द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्रीजी सब्सटेंस दैट इज अकर फ्रॉम द सिबेशियस ग्लैंड Sebaceous glands are the all glands that are present in certain parts of our body such as face neck back shoulders and upper arms so these are certain part of our bodies which contain excess amount of sebaceous gland and lead to the production of sebum sebum is a substance that is mainly responsible for the acne so what happen is when this greasy substance the sebum start producing inside our body they start clogging the hair follicles opening there are the hair hair follicles which used to have a bigger opening as well as the smaller opening and the sebum used to clog these openings which lead to the acne and the bigger opening the follicles which have the bigger opening may lead to the production of blackheads which are the flat spots with the black center as well as may lead to the formation of the white bumps which are known and known as the white heads right so both these black heads and white heads can lead to the formation of pimples pustules and even nodules now i am going to tell you what are the causes guys you may know that a uh, few people used to say that i cannot eat oily food fried food spicy food or even i cannot touch my face again and again because my skin is very much acne prone so let me tell you that these are not the causes of acne the actual causes of acne are the hormones as well as the hereditary factors so first of all i am going to tell you about hormones there is a hormone known as the androgen which is mainly responsible for the signaling the body to produce the sebum or the oil or activate the oil glands to produce the sebum which lead to the production of acne so number 1 was the hormone number 2 is the bacteria when these hair follicles are get clogged and these clogged hair follicles lead to the production of the bacteria these bacteria breaks the skin which lead to the leakage of the sebum in the nearby tissues and lead to the formation of pus or the pustules number 3 are the oral contraceptives some women are prone to get infected or get acne with the oral contraceptives however the at the same time some women can have the tendency to suppress the acne the th fourth one is intrauterine devices can also lead to the production of acne fifth one is a steroid taken by the athletes or even the bodybuilders can lead to the formation of acne so these are some causes that are mainly responsible for the acne i hope you it is clear to you till now that acne starts with the production of the greasy substance which clogs the hair follicles and which lead to the formation of white heads or the black heads or the pimple nodules etc now what are the symptoms i don't need to tell you much about the acne because these are very much common and acne prone so the symptoms are of the acne are number 1 is formation of persistent consistent long lasting formation of acne acne are the pus filled pimples on the certain acne prone areas of our body number 2 formation of white heads black heads pimples papules papules are the red swelling or the red lumps on the skin fifth one is the production of formation of nodules nodules are the firm swelling under the skin which are usually inflamed or infected right so these are the symptoms of the acne in the next video i am going to tell you what are the treatment of the acne so keep watching and don't forget to subscribe i will see you back in my next video bye bye